so we can progress. Sure. It's a little okay. So I remember guys on streaming, so it's a little laggy, I'm sorry about that. Devil's choice. I like this demon. He lies as often as he tells the truth. Sure. This this so. and claim my token. A cloaked devil appears in your path. Oh, I'm here to test your smite test your might, so called hero. Choose your foe. Oh, no. Choose your foe. Three of dust, three of dust, two of dust. Ooh. Last time I, I got this one, I hit it the opposite of what you choose. So I'm going to see if he does it the same. Yeah. You're no much here. I will let you live with... Oh, so it is random. So it is random. Okay. Okay, that makes this even better. You're never safe with what choice you have. But it's okay. I have, oh, that's actually a really cool shield. Okay. I feel the devil, you don't give me really strong opponents. Okay, that's... Okay, so you see right there, I press in Q when you have the shield. And that's because it does, um... It goes back to your enemies. And there's no punishment for um, spamming Q, by the way. You can, you can spam Q all you want, and you will never lose your combo. But yeah, I have no idea what the curse does, but I, I think it helped me. Excellent, the devil cries. You have passed my cutting test. Have some treasure. Perhaps next time our path cross, I will kill you myself. The dealer draws you three game cards. The car card's token is now yours. Okay, not useful anymore, really. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, any healing that the avoided being wounded. Sure. Suffice, however. Any healing that the player receive is doubled. Okay, that's really pretty useful. Five max health. Does it give me? Much good okay. Okay. That's actually not that bad. Oh, uh, I think inventory. Yeah, it's automatically equipped. So I don't have to worry about inventory, which is really nice, really, honestly. I I don't like to match inventory that much. Traveling Tinker. In a shady grove of, of the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. All right, let's see this shop. Uh, let's see, let's see. Let's go buy some items. Oh, uh, see, what is, oh, there was to be for there's no gold there, but still. Oh, wow, minimum armor's not even that expensive. Uh, let's see if we could sell something. Oh, sorry. A knife for all and mercy for none. Can I, I can sell my sword. I don't even need it. Yeah. Uh, nope. Let's see. Let's go back here. I I can't buy my medium armor, which is very nice. Distinctly average. What do you expect me to say? Congratulations. Yes, I want you to say congratulations. Damage. The best armor, of course, does so much more. Yeah, but we're not there. There. We're not there there? No, we're not there yet. So calm down. We're not gonna get the special armor yet. Dead King's Hall. Greed. If it were not for greed, then who would play at this game? You see an ancient ornate coffin in a main burial chamber. It may hold spectacular wealth, but it will surely be guarded. Draw two monster cards. Three of dust, two of skulls. Attempt to Take them by surprise or sneak away? Of course I want to take them by surprise. Huge success, huge success, and he, and just failure thing. All right, let's see if I go get lucky again. Oh, wow, I did not get lucky this time. You are spotted as you approach and the creatures ready themselves for combat. Do I still get my token?
All right. Okay, I, again, I, I can't help this now, but I love how when you get the cards, it gets placed down, down, and down, and down, you get your equipment along the way. I just like that a lot. Oh, you can curse monsters too. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh huh. I don't get it. So, what makes skeletons. I, I remember skeletons were hard to fight for some reason. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna spoil it. But there's a reason why skeletons are hard to fight. They're just introducing it to you. But yeah, that didn't even get hits. You loot the room. The deer draws you three game cards. The card tokens is now yours. Okay, equipment. Uh, once per combat, press. Uh, okay. No, this is not useful at all. Don't bother with this. As far as you can, you only get like one or two gold. And I'm already near the end of the um, the stage, so this is not really that useful. Gain okay, five food. One of my cards. Five my again, awesome. I will not be so graceful for long. You always mock me though. All the time. It's very rude, you know. What did you think would happen with a card called Ambush, eh? Ambush of love. Okay. I thought. They were slicing me a birthday cake with those. Anyway, a slight, rust, a slight rustling behind you is all the warning you get that your life is in grave danger. Draw one monster card. Two of skulls. Not very hard and not your best. Should not take me very long. Later on, I may edit out the combat. Honestly, it gets very repetitive, especially if you're just watching it. Uh, there's not much to add, especially since it's not that hard. But we'll see later on. We'll see later on. We'll see what happens. Of course, I always keep the bosses fight, boss fights. I'm not gonna edit those out. While searching the area for anything worth salvaging, you realize that one of your opponents is only pretending to be snap. You're a skeleton. Is pretending to be dead while their bones is covering the whole floor like as in pieces um, uh, yeah sneak up and kill him then misgender the skeleton for a second oh my every time a quick weapon blow to the head fixes that you finish searching the area the dealer draws you three game cards Draw one equipment. Um item that tells you how to move quickly, but tempts you to nah. take your time. Three food. And twenty gold, which I don't need anymore. You sh I, I, you, I needed you back here, but you never you never come when I need you. Okay, so I didn't read this last time. The undead. Of all the players in the game, these are the most dangerous in the world. Yet in no natural form, a wrongness, an error, cheating. Okay, so uh, this is where you find out why skeletons can be a pain in the butt. Jack of Skulls. This tenacious undead is usually difficult to lay to rest. In addition to sheer strength, this skeleton has the power to revive recently defeated skeletons in its close vicinity. Serving as captains to squads of lesser skeletons, these unholy abominations strike fear into the hearts of all warm-blooded folk, for until this fiend is defeated, their legions are, effectively, endless. So basically, he can revive skeletons. So you guys want to kill him first. And a token if you, succeed. you know what? If I lose, I'll be very mad at myself. Alright, let's see what happens. 
Four skulls, so four skeletons. Oh, okay, like I got. And jack of skulls. Of course, I need my epic introduction. Shots from rifles cannot be deflected. You would do better. Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay, this one is actually going to take me a while to uh, do. And it actually comes out with one thing, believe it or not. And it's that one skeleton has a shield. Oh, shoot. I can't get dang past a shield. That's there. And of course, bosses always have the red uh, spider sense, so. Ah, dang it. I d oh, yes, I love this cursed item. Oh my god, okay. When I first played this, this took me about 5 10 minutes to beat. Now I just have an annoying shield. I can't believe I never used this. Not only does he have an annoying shield, um, but the shooting guy always shoots at you. But, oh, okay, get the curse item, it seems to stun them. Ah, well done. Well done indeed. But you have roused the dead in their dusty tombs, and even I cannot say what will come of it. Oh my god, okay. We'll see. We'll see, honestly. The murder of C DLC has arrived. Visit. Oh. The land lover locked lover. Okay, okay. DLC quest, apparently. The hunt of the white minotaur has begun. The song of the white minotaur. Okay. The white council is expanding to its influence. The white council. One. The Goblin King Hall's DLC is ready. Goblin King Hall's one. The underworld awaits your sacrifice. Indecent arrival. For the for diving into the river, you receive Swing of Survival. I survived the Deadly River. For helping the cat and the guard, you receive a mace and a mace, but no holy mace. For surviving the devil's choice, you receive devil's wager. I guess not the last time I'll see that dude lying. Lying devil. For exploring the Dead's King Hall, you receive. Treasure chest. I get a treasure chest. Oh. Uh, oh. As a reward for giving my skeleton jack, you receive these new cards. The Crucible. Queen of Dust. Helpful Priest. And Desert Store. So, I get defeating skeleton jack. I get Helm of Reflection. Consuming Shame. Angel's Wing and Frost Fang. I will deal, uh, we'll deal next time after I'll be. I'm done and I'm so happy. Uh, this is actually really exciting to continue playing this game and playing it with you guys. Again, I can't, I can't explain how much I really love this game. And I'll see you guys the next episode.